Are you sure you know where you're going this time? Yeah, I just want you at the monitor, in case I get turned around. Got it. Apparently, I'm not the only one interested in these stones. Do you think you can figure out the shortest path out? Of course. According to the map, the tunnels form a right triangle. And since we are dealing with a right triangle and we have the length of two of the sides, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the distance of the missing side. I knew I could count on you. The Pythagorean theorem is a formula for right triangles written as a square plus b square equals c square. And that refers to each side of the triangle. The A and B represent the two sides that make the right angle. And the C will always represent the hypotenuse or the side directly opposite of the right angle. To work out the problem, you will need to square the numbers given. To do that, just multiply each number times itself. 7 times 7 is 49. And 8 times 8 is 64. Now, we can just add those together to find C squared. And 64 plus 49 gives us 113. And now we can go back to the square root for the actual length of each side. And that will give us the actual length of the C side. So, which is the shortest route? This path gives us a total distance of 15. And we now know the side C is 10.63, so that is the shortest path. Copy that. I'm heading out. Thanks for the help. What are those stones so important for anyways? You'll see, soon enough. I knew it. Stay away from my cows. Try out the Pythagorean theorem for yourself. Here are a few practice problems 